back to Mr. Damien's chess class. This is now class number five. Um, today, we will start talking about some of the strategies that will help us become um, better chess players. We've learned most of the basics. And now we'll start learning more specifics about how we can use the knowledge that we've learned with how to move these pieces to... Um, to learn how to play the game of chess and ultimately get your opponent in checkmate. So today, we're going to uh, talk about the actual game a little bit more. So the game is divided into three parts. There is the opening, the middle, and the end. Um, there you want to do specific things in each one of them, um, in each one of the areas. So today, we're going to talk about what you want to do in the opening are the beginning. The opening is consists of the first 10 moves. So uh, you want to, the first 10 moves. And first thing that you want to do, if you can avoid it, you don't want to move any piece more than one time in the opening. In the opening, you don't want to move any piece. You have 16 different pieces with 10 moves. You should try to move 10 different pieces in those 10 of your 16 pieces in those moves. Reason why is because the opener sets you up for the middle game and the end game. And a poor opening will probably lead to a poor middle game, thus leading to a poor end game. So, um, so first, that's the first rule. That's one of the most important rules. You also want to do three things in the opening. And we're going to talk about the three things that you want to try to do. The first thing, you want to do three things. You want to fight for the center develop your pieces and gain king safety fight for the center develop your pieces and gain king safety what do i mean by those things that i just said i'm going to tell you as it relates sorry As it relates to controlling the center, if we're looking at our board this way, our center pieces is going to be on the D and the E file. So for the purposes of these pieces, D and E are the most center pieces. When I say fight for control of the center, you want to make sure that you have pieces in the center so that it can fight because the center is where all the action happens. If you're here, you easily can access this side of the board, that side of the board, the middle of the board, and the same right here, right there, right there. You can access all of those sides of the board. So, when I say gain, uh, fight for control of the center, that is what I mean. These are the centermost pieces. When I say develop your pieces, when I say develop your pieces, what I mean by that is that we talked about in previous lessons, excuse me, let me tilt this up a little bit more. We talked about in previous lessons that the bishop, the, the knight is the only piece that can jump over other pieces. That is the only piece that can jump over other pieces. Every other piece cannot move if there is a piece in front of it. So as it relates to this, um, to this bishop, this bishop is not developed because it cannot move anywhere. This bishop moves diagonally, and both of the pieces that are diagonal is blocking this bishop. So, um, so to develop this bishop, you can simply move this piece. Now, this piece is not blocked, and it is controlling all of these pieces. It can get even more developed, if you put him right here because now it's still controlling those same pieces and it's controlling these uh, squares also well what about this one well very easy this bishop can now be developed by moving that piece what also happens during this time is that you're fighting for control of the center you're fighting for control of the center 
So because you're fighting for control of the center, um, you have these two pieces that are able to get there. Um, so, and what I mean by king safety is the king is the most important piece in chess. We've talked about that time and time again. The king is the most important piece of chess. Without the king, the rest of the chess game does not happen, okay? So, one easy way to get the king into safety is by doing what's called castling. Doing what's called castling. A castle happens when all of the pieces in between the king and the castle have been moved. All right? Once they've been moved, if the castle or the king that you're using for the castling uh, technique, if none of those pieces have been moved and none of these squares are in danger, you can do what's called castling. Same way to this one, it's just that it's more. So this is a king side castle. This, because the queen was on that, would be considered a queen side castle. And that is a, the quickest way to get to safety. So, what I mean by that is, this, uh, the, the way you castle is, if so remember, no pieces are in between them. I have not moved any one of these pieces that I'm going to use to castle with. And I'm not threatened by any other piece from the other side. The way you castle is you move your king over two spaces to the side that you wish to castle. And then you move your castle or your rook on the opposite side of that king. Okay? That is a castle. Now your king is in a corner and he is safe. I'm going to do it again for you. The way we castle is by moving this king over two spaces to the side that we want to castle and moving the castle on the opposite side of the king. Now, let's try it on the other side. All of our parameters have been met. There are no pieces in between it. It is not being threatened by another piece. And I have not moved any of these pieces yet. So, same thing. I moved the queen, I mean, on the queen side cast, I moved two spaces to that side, and I moved the uh, rook or the castle on the other side of it. Again, same situation, just a different side. One, two, and then one. And now, my king is safe. So, one of the quickest things one of the quickest openings to help us understand how to get our king safe, how to cast, I mean, how to castle, how to develop our pieces, and how to start fighting for the control of the center is what is called uh, the Roy Lopez. R U Y L O P E Z. Also, the Spanish game. The quickest way to do that. Okay? Let's go ahead and go through the movements. For the Roy Lopez or the Spanish game. First move. It's going to be that move there. King's pawn up two spaces. King's pawn up two spaces gets this queen file open and <laughs> Excuse me. And gets this bishop open. The next move. Oh, and it fights for the center. So you're developing two pieces and fighting for a center. Next, we're going to take this knight and we're going to move it to c6. Now, this knight is developed because it is not trapped back here. It is open, controlling some areas in the center. Because now this knight is controlling this square and this square on their side. And then finally, we're going to move the bishop. 
this step. Sorry. Now you're going to move the bishop here. And the last move, so we did four moves. And the last move is the castle. One, two, and then over one. So I've used four of my 10 moves so far. I've not moved any piece more than once. I fought for the center. Look at my pieces in the center. I've, um, right for the center, I've developed pieces and my king is safe. Now I have six more moves. So what's something else I can do? Well, I can go ahead and develop maybe this bishop a little bit more. That's move number five. I can go ahead and develop this knight more. That's move number six. This bishop. That's move number seven. And I still have three moves to get more of these pieces acclimated if I want to. Now that's assuming that my partner, I mean that the person I'm playing against allows me to get this good position. Move number eight. Uh, move number nine. And hmm, a good move number ten. I don't know. Maybe here. Maybe there. I don't know. But you get the gist of, of what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that when we are, this is our first 10 moves. I only moved this piece an extra time. Everything else was moved one time. My king is safe. My pieces are developed. And I fought for control of the center. So, again, what we're this is just one example which is called the Roy Lopez, of how we do those three things that we want to do in the opening. Remember, the three things are fight for the center, king safety, developing our pieces. Remember also that it has the, fir the first 10 moves are very important. First 10 moves, that is the opening, and there are three parts of the game. The opening, the middle game, in the end game if you follow this if in my suggestion um that's i'm sorry this opening is an opening for white um my suggestion as you learn to play chess is to learn an opening perfect it before you start moving to other things because there's so many openings if you learned an opening and you perfected it you would be much better um at the game of chess and then you can see the different variations of how people can attack it and how you can attack it and recognize if someone else does it. When we get into our next um, video, we are going to start talking about another strategy um, in terms of checkmating your opponent and getting out of checkmate and the things that you need to do, which is run like Elvin Kamara, protect like Ryan Ramchek, or capture like Sean Payton. Remember those three things? And we'll be back from Mr. Damien's chess class in about a week.